Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around July 1st. So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. The timing is fluid. Take what resonates and leave the rest. We're just going to see what comes up. This could resonate today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, or not at all. Let's just see what happens. Two pentacles reversed. Oh. Lacking balance. Overextending. Somebody is overextending themselves. Ten of swords. Reversed. Six of cups. And strength. Reversed. So there's some sort of weakness here. There's weakness, uh, lack of balance for sure, illness. You know, I just, I mean, I, it is what it is. Okay, if you, if you don't take good care of yourself, you get sick. So um, there's definitely some sort of uh, imbalance. I think it's an internal imbalance. I do, I do. Uh, there's illness, sickness that needs to be dealt with. Um, Now, this is uh, no ambition, no drive, um, weakness. This is weakness. Now, the Six of Cups is nostalgia. It's remembering the past. Um, now, now, we see that we only have three cups revealed here. So, there's some sort of... Uh, well, the Three of Cups, something about uh, celebrations, remembering about the parties, remembering about the family, remembering about all the fun times. Somebody is reminiscing about all the fun times. There's reminiscing here. This Ten of Swords reversed is not survived or um, not surviving, something not surviving. You made your bed, now you have to lay in it. This is sickness, again. There's sickness. There's somebody was somebody has gone as low as they can go. Um, this is something getting worse. Problems worsening. There's worse to come. Um, the worst has happened. The worst has happened. Uh, there's extremely unbalanced. Uh, there's no contingency plan. This is a mess. This is a mess. This somebody bit off more than they can chew. Um, they wanted to do two things, and they they were trying too hard. They were overextending themselves. Now there's there's uh, well, this is is falling. Okay, it's falling. Okay. Uh, now this is memories. Now the Six of Cups is about the past, remembering a lot of the memories. Now the Six of Cups can be a reunion. It can be a reunion. Now it's also about innocence, the Six of Cups. So we definitely have somebody here that is, is doing a lot of reminiscing. And I think they're doing it because they're in poor health. You know, there's poor health here. And when you're in poor health, you, you, you can't really do much because you're sick, so you think a lot. So somebody is really thinking about the past. They're thinking about something that ended in, the, in a bad way. They probably didn't plan for it to end that way, but they bit off more than they can chew. There's, there's, this, is, this is a cowardly situation. We have a coward here that has a big ego that clings to control. Ego has gotten, ego and pride has gotten in the way of happiness. 
Anyhow, um, now this is weak and vulnerable. Um, feeling inadequate. Depression. We definitely have depression here. Somebody is really thinking about everything that happened. Page of Swords reverse. Not communicating, watching, maybe stalking. Um, not communicating. Angry, perhaps. You may have somebody here that is angry and upset. They even may have, there could be some mental health issues. This is bad news arriving as well. Okay. And it may have something to do with this. It could represent children. And this has children. Something to do with the children. Somebody may have regrets over something to do with the children. Okay. Um, we have a Leo here. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very controlling and doesn't have to be a Leo. This is anybody's energy. This is an energy of ego and pride getting getting in the way. And a lack of ambition, low self-confidence, low self-esteem, uh, illness, sickness, poor health. And this is being caught off guard. Somebody may be caught off guard by uh, a sickness. Now, the Hermit Reversed is uh, a midlife crisis type of situation. There's exile, loneliness, sadness, paranoia, um, a need to socialize. So we're having a hard, somebody is having a hard time. They're feeling very lonely. Needing to socialize. Now, but this is a lack of awareness as well. Not very wise. Immature. We could have somebody here that is immature. Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups is an outpouring of emotion. It's a flood of emotion. This is, a, this is, this is, and there could be a lot of tears that are being shed with the Ace of Cups. Okay, but the Ace of Cups signifies a new start in love. Okay, it does. It does. Now, this could be something coming back from the dead. We have somebody here that, um, you know, you may have thought something was done, it was over, but it could be coming back. Okay, this is, could be a renewal in love. Okay. This is heaven sent. This is a card of heaven, the Ace of Cups is. So this is an outpouring of emotion. It is a flood of emotion. It is the extreme love. Okay, it is. It's big love. This is being caught off guard by love, which is interesting. Somebody may be being caught off guard or... You know, I don't know what is going on here, but that Ten of Swords reverse right on top of the Ace of Cups, that Ten of Swords is is suffering. Bad. Okay. But the Ten of Swords reverse can also be freedom from suffering. Freedom from suffering. There could be a reunion here with the Six of Cups. So there may be a reunion some, next to the Ten of Swords reverse and the Ace of Cups. Some sort of reunion. It's the end of suffering. There could be a reunion here. Somebody's been watching. They've been watching from afar. But they're cowardly. They're not very brave. They met, and their ego got in the way. They didn't see the light. Something like that. They weren't very enlightened. They weren't very awake. They may have had some sort of mental health issues or fear that got in the way. Anyway, the two of pentacles reversed is a loss. Somebody has experienced a loss. They were trying to do too much, trying to prove themselves. Eight 
Ace of Swords. Communication is coming from somebody um, that just didn't see. They didn't see. They weren't aware. They weren't aware that they uh, had to take action or something like that. Or they were just too weak or cowardly or something like that. Anyhow, Ace of Swords, upright, is clarity, the truth, taking the power in one one's hand. This is an awakening, an epiphany, uh, speaking up, communication. So there is some sort of communication coming through. I'm sorry about the lawnmower. There is some sort of communication that is coming. There's been a delay. There has been. Somebody is about to take a new approach. They got this new idea, which they are going to follow through on. But I feel like... Oh, Knight of Cups reversed. There's fear of rejection or something. Now, the Knight of Cups reversed is somebody that is unpredictable. That um, has a, can't really master their emotions very well. Um, very cunning, very crafty, very flirty. Um, doesn't, can't handle stress very well, um, doesn't like confrontation. I mean, the Knight of Cups in reverse could be somebody that doesn't really face reality well. This is an individual that Maybe emotionally distraught. Maybe they're looking for it. What the hell is this guy looking for? Well, we got some not being love. This is lack of love. This is a heartbreaker. The Knight of Cups in reverse is a heartbreaker. This heartbreaker. And this is realizing something. This is realizing, this is an epiphany, this is an awakening, it really is, realizing the truth. This person didn't follow through, or doesn't follow through, and definitely a commitment, afraid of commitment, something like that, commitment, a, fi uh, a commitment, Fear, fear of commitment. We have an individual here that can't really face reality or couldn't really face reality. May have uh, been very vain. This person may have been very vain. They may have even had some drug or alcohol issues. Now this person is something about love and clarity. Okay, this person what let something end. Didn't you know? Tried to bit off more than they could chew. It was juggling. Was playing games. This guy was a player. We have somebody here that was playing games that wasn't ready to stop playing games. But this is now seeing the truth of some sort. So this is reality. It is. This is the truth. Letting go with the Two of Pentacles reversed. This is falling. It is. It's falling. But it's also a choice. This is a choice. So it's interesting. It's like you can't have both. So something has to be let go. So somebody is making a choice. Based on the truth. After being fearful of confrontation, after not following their heart, being heartbroken. Now this is, uh, the, hmm, let me get another card. Oh, e. the Empress reversed. Now the Empress reversed is very jealous. 
Okay, she's very jealous. She's very uh, possessive. She can be hard to deal with. She can be a mess. Okay, the Empress in the reverse can be a mess. Um, she doesn't take care. She doesn't take care of her children. She doesn't take care of her man. She doesn't take care of herself. So we have a feminine that didn't take care of her people okay and I feel like she and maybe she uh, was very easy okay she was easy um, I think things are getting you know she's very selfish this one is very selfish and smothering the Empress in reversed. Very self-centered and self-indulgent. Doesn't know her value. Doesn't add value to a situation. This Empress in reversed. Maybe being rejected. The Knight of Cups in reverse is, is like a rejection. This is like a recanted proposal or a broken engagement or a withdrawn invitation. Okay, it's a cancellation. It is. Somebody is, is canceling their offer. It's like taking it back because whoever they're dealing with doesn't take care of them emotionally. And this could be a mother that doesn't take care of her child or a wife that doesn't take care of her husband. Or girlfriend to take care of her boyfriend or something like that. This is a woman that is going to be dealing with some sort of... She, there's tears going to be shed. She may be, end up, be the one shedding some tears. This is tears. Because I think there is a choice that is being made and it isn't in her favor. I think there's going to be some a rejection. I hate to say that. But the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. And I think there's a new start in love with somebody else that they may they have known before because I feel like there's a reunion here and I don't know where they're because this is reconciliation this is somebody from the past this could be a brand new love though it could be the ace of cups could be a brand new love but I feel like it's a reconciliation with the past now a lot of people think the past is they think it's the person that broke their heart well it could be the person that broke your heart but I don't think it is I mean it could be it could be. It could be somebody completely new that you knew when you were a kid. Or, you know, your past doesn't mean that you had that you slept with the person. It could doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could be a family member. There could be a reunion with a family member. Okay? It could be a, a reunion between a sibling and parent. There may have been a mother-in-law or a stepmother that was in the way. There is a reunion here between people. There is. I really feel like there is. Maybe it's, it's, it's something to do with a child as well. So there's, there is uh, illness as well. So there is illness. There's a need to recuperate. There's a need for recovery. Somebody needs to maybe somebody needs to go into rehab. I'm just saying we may have we may have an individual here that needs to go to rehab and something comes out, some sort of truth comes out that sends them to rehab. Um, I, I I don't know where that's coming from, but I I needed to say it. Um, I feel like uh, you should be prepared to hear a message. Um, in regards to somebody, I don't know if it's somebody falling or something about love, 
because of the Ace of Cups, something maybe it's falling in love, or somebody is in love, or something like that. There, or it's somebody that is ill that is going to rehab. I don't even know where that's coming from. Um, are they going to the hospital or something like that? Um, there is going to be a message that is coming through. And it may be from somebody that broke your heart in the past. Or you broke their heart in the past. But there is also some bad news that is being delivered with the Page of Swords reverse. That's bad news. Somebody is about to be enlightened the hard way. They are. They are. But you got to notice with the Two of Pentacles, there's ups and downs, okay? It's like, it's like one man's uh, trash is another man's treasure, that kind of thing. And I don't know where that came from. It just came out of my mouth. Or, you know, it's a, there's somebody is receiving something uh, precious that another person didn't take care of. And when I looked, when I said that, it was 21, 12. No, 2, 1, 1, 2. Yeah, 21, 12 when I looked at the camera when I said that. Anyhow, um, we have a feminine here that doesn't take very good care of anybody. And I feel like she is about to be, she's going to receive some sort of bad news. This is like a termination. Eight of Swords. Now somebody could even end up in prison behind bars. Or rehab behind locked doors. Maybe it's a psychic ward. I don't know. There could be some mental health issues here. Anyway, somebody is coming back around from the past. It has some, maybe it has to do with prison or jail or something like that behind locked doors. Um, this person uh, wasn't respected. And she wasn't respected because she didn't respect herself. This is very interesting. But this is a renewal in love. It's a new start in love. The Ace of Cups is a new start in love. This is, this something is coming. And maybe it's coming for this Empress who needs to heal, who is in a lot of pain. Because the Empress in reverse hasn't delivered her pain. She's still in a lot of pain. She's still hurting. I don't know. Be prepared to receive a message. Um, it is in regards to love. It is. It's going to help to end some sort of suffering. Whatever it is. Good luck.